In this tutorial video, I'm going over the exact process through which I went from not knowing anything about TikTok ads all the way up to $1,000 per day in just a week. G'day guys, it's Slack here and in this video, I will be going over the exact step-by-step -step process on how to create your own TikTok ads and my exact ad strategy to test dropshipping winning products. By the end of this video, I can assure you, you will know how to create your very own TikTok ads and then start running these great campaigns to get these insane results for yourself. So let's get straight into it. As you can see right now, I'm currently on the TikTok ads manager or business manager page. This is the web page with URL tiktok.com slash business. This is where you guys actually go on to, you know, create your own TikTok account. So you click on get started and then you either could sign up with your phone or with an email address. So in my case, I'm going to sign up with a email address, my details, such as my email address, password, and a verification code which was sent to my email address and then you click on sign up you can see on the next slide over here you basically are required to put in you know your country details industry business name time zone a phone number so I've basically gone ahead and added some information and let's click register on this step over here it's gonna ask you to send in a it will send you a verification text so just I'll quickly complete this and I'll see you on the next step. Your ads manager and business manager. This is the screen, you know, you're brought onto. This is a dashboard section for TikTok ads. This is basically where you see your daily expenditure and how and you know you can see the results for your overall ads ad account. So what we need to do now is we need to click on create an ad. This is the part, you know, where we actually go on to create those ads. For your business so this as you can see this layout is pretty similar to the one you know which most of us are familiar with of facebook so for make sure you know you're in the custom mode over here so that you know you can make custom changes to your ads so number one you know you gotta ensure that you know for your advertising objective you have selected conversion as we are aiming to get you know more e-commerce sales and once you scroll down you can you know create like a campaign name I usually like to, you know, create my campaign with, you know, cold top of the funnel and with, for example, with the product name. So let's just say I'm testing a t-shirt. Okay. And then you click on to budget, you leave it as it is. It says no limit. And then you click on continue. Now you're in the ads group, which is basically as you know, you know, the so-called the ad set level of your Facebook ads. You can name this however you want to. So let's just say ad set one and you know where you actually go on to select your pixel. This is a really important part. So make sure you know you guys still sort this out. So this is where you select your pixel. Um, I already have a pixel you know installed onto my website. So I'll just select one of those. If you don't know how to you know select a pix, if you don't have a pixel already, so you click on this option over here, create. And through this events manager, you know, you can go ahead and create a pixel. It is quite easy. Otherwise, to so keep this video moving, so we click on, so we select the pixel and then we select the optimization event. So this is basically where we choose, you know, what we are trying to aim. So in this case, you're aiming for complete payment, which is basically a sale. Don't worry about this error. If this thing shows up, that's okay. Um, now for placements, make sure you guys click on select placement. We don't want, you know, our ads to be placed on different, you know, all these users apps such as Pangle and this. So you just unselect these. Um, you turn on the user comment. This is basically where, you know, users can tag their friends or their, you know, family about on your ad. So make sure this is on. Video download can be on as well. You know, you don't need to turn this off creative type keep this off now this is the targeting part part you can approach this in two different ways i'll go over you know what those different methods are so as you can see with targeting number one is audience over here you know you select your custom audience so at the start you might not have this so you leave it as it is in terms of location um, when you click on location as you can see not all the countries are available such as you know which is what you get in facebook ads so this is the only catch with tiktok ads right now so if you're based in australia you can only target australia and few other countries which are 
pretty useless and i would say i mean i wouldn't recommend you targeting any of these countries because you don't get many conversions um so what you can do to overcome this is when i spoke to a tiktok business managers representative they said you know for two months you need to make sure that you're spending consistently and you're not getting banned they then provide you the access to you know other countries so if you're based in the, the us then you'll already have access to us and canada if you're in the uk then you can target uk as well but you can't target other t4 countries like you can with facebook ads so anyways let's move on to gender depending on the product so if it's a beauty product then you obviously select female or male depending on the gender if it's a normal general product then you just keep it as no limit for age i've actually tested you know no limit as well but from what the results i got i usually tend to select 18 to 24 35 to 44 and 655 plus the reason i don't select 13 to 17 is because they usually don't have their own credit card or their own you know debit card to actually go on to make those purchases so you can actually you know depending on the product you can select it but i usually tend not to because i've gotten far higher results with these age groups with languages i usually select english because if you're my, if my ads are usually in english so i keep it english um for interest behavior um there are two different ways you know you can approach it i actually like to keep it broad and this is you know what i heard from all of my mates in the e-com industry so once we are testing a product because of as you can see the audience size is not as great here in australia so i just keep it broad audience and i then basically after i see you know ads getting some more traction then i go into you know separate specific interest so but you know if your audience size is over you know 10 million people then i would i would still recommend you to you know select different interest groups so for you to select different interests you go on to you know this specific categories there's quite a few of them which you can select from so if you're targeting you know a beauty uh product such as you know a you know ipl laser skin remove skin hair removal then you can select you know skin care and basically select those specific interests depending on the thing but as i said my tip would be start with a very broad audience and then go niche down with these interests with the budget you know it depends on you know what you're comfortable with i usually like to you know start off with at least 35 to 40 dollars depending on you know uh, per ad group so let's just say i want to keep it at 30 dollars this is a minimum i would recommend 30 aud so it turns out to be around 20 us dollars anyways uh for the schedule i usually select the next day for ads to start running so let's just keep it at 28th of june perfect and uh, day parting i keep it as it is on all day conversion goal optimization goal is obviously conversion um now bid strategy it actually depends on the product you're selling so what i like to do with my bid strategy is so if i'm selling a product worth six sixty dollars or you know whatever amount it is i like to keep my bid strategy or my cost cap as 30 percent of that amount so if you're selling a product worth sixty dollars then your bid strategy bid cap would be 30 percent of that whole amount so 0 0.30 times by 60 dollars so this comes up to 18 dollars so what then i do is i'll keep my cost cap as 18 dollars there you go so this is basically how we start the testing phase so you keep it as 30 percent based on the results you get within first one to three days you make modifications to you know this cost cap so basically if you are getting great results you basically keep it constant and down the line you know you can even test reducing the cost cap by maybe one or two dollars but you know if there's no spending and if you don't get any purchases then you might need to actually increase the cost cap so for now let's just keep it at 18 dollars and then you click on show more options over here you just keep it as standard just like the way tiktok recommends um then you click on to next this is the ad spot of the whole process this is where you create the actual creative um as you can see let's just name this creative as video one um you scroll down this is basically where you know you upload your creative so i'm gonna just i downloaded this random tiktok from my my tiktok feed so i'll just gonna just gonna upload this so 
as you can see the TikTok has been uploaded you click on confirm you know your video is uploaded you actually go on to you know creating the, your display name this is this can this is basically your brand name um for text i usually like to you know write something catchy or something you know because you don't have you know many characters to write off it so i usually like to write something such as 50 percent off plus free shipping sale ends today so as you can see over here there's only one or two lines worth of text that you know you can write on the actual creative um now you actually for your call to action i usually just go for shop now that's because you know that's what we're aiming for so over here you know you put in the url link for your you know shopify store or your website you then select your profile image this can just be your logo for your shopify store and then you just use this keep it as it is and you just leave this aside so this is how you create one specific ad now if you want to create more ads which i would recommend each and every single one of you do i would recommend at least three to five ads per ad set when you're starting off so this is how you know you can create more ad, different ad copies for your store so after you're done creating your ads then you click submit as you can see our ad is being created now and now will automatically be redirected to ads manager so there you go so as you guys can see now we are on the ads manager dashboard part and this is just the campaign you know which we created so this is the campaign level ad group and this is the ad set we created it's taking some you know it's going to be scheduled tomorrow and this is the actual ad we created so what i would do next is basically i would actually go on and duplicate this specific you know um um ad set to basically have one specific ad set with couple of interests so it can be three to four three to five interests which are related to your product or you know the specific item you're selling and i'll keep the ads as it is same so that way i'll have one campaign i'll have two ad groups and then i'll have three to five different ads in total per you know ad group so this way you know you'll have two different ad sets running at the moment and you can see which one are bringing in more sale the ones with interest or the broad ones well this was my exact tiktok ad strategy so if you guys found this video useful make sure to hit that like button it helps with growing this youtube channel and I will be coming up with more such videos on how to create different types of TikTok ads, lookalike audiences and testing different strategies. So if you're keen to learn all that stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you, get, you guys get notified when those videos come out. Till then, take care and I will see you in the next one.